Don't be alarmed if you think you're suffering from treble vision when you first see the Citroen C1. You've definitely seen it before, in the form of the Peugeot 107 and Toyota Igo. These three cars are almost identical as they share mechanical and body parts. Their bonnets, front bumpers and light units are the only major variations, though they're priced and equipped differently. Toyota provides the one-litre petrol engine that serves all three cars, while Peugeot Citroën chips in with a 1.4-litre diesel. Great though the French company's diesel is, you do wonder if it's really needed. Even the petrol engine will do around 60 miles per gallon on a run, and it has a decent turn of pace if you use the gears. The C1 isn't much bigger than the original Mini, so it turns on sixpence and is easy to park. However, the stiff suspension that helps make it stable in bends makes the ride uncomfortable. And being both short and fairly tall, the C1 is blown about by crosswinds or the backdraft of trucks on the motorway. The C1 comes with three or five doors and it's surprisingly roomy considering its tiny dimensions. There's not enough headroom for tall people to ride in the back for long, but the car is far more than a glorified two-seater. The most impractical aspect is the boot. There's no proper hatch, only the glass rear screen opens, so you have to lift things over a high lip. There's not enough space for much more than a sports bag without folding the rear seats down. At least everything feels substantial. You have to adjust the mirrors manually and wind the windows down by hand on the cheapest versions, but there's a good driving position and some nice touches, such as the heater control panel that glows orange when the lights are on. You might be drawn to the C1 by its fun looks, but the major attraction is that it costs peanuts to buy and run. You won't get Citroen's usual huge discounts because supply is strictly limited, but there is some room for haggling. With excellent economy and insurance in the lowest group, owning a new car really doesn't come much cheaper. That entry-level price gets you three doors, power steering, anti-lock brakes, a cornering stability system and a couple of airbags. But we reckon it's worth spending a bit more to add side airbags, remote locking, split rear seats and the optional air conditioning. On the face of it, the Citroen is cheaper than the near-identical Peugeot and Toyota, but not when you equip it to what we consider the right level. So the decision to buy a C1 instead of a 107 or an Igo is by no means straightforward. There's another factor too. It might surprise you to find just how many cars you can get for the same money. And some are more spacious or better to drive. 